All right, welcome back, everybody. I had to take a break yesterday, but today we're gonna continue our little discussion of the Cigar Aficionado Top 25 list. And today we're going from four to number one, which I gotta say, quite controversial. Number four, you guessed it, Cohiba Robusto. And of course, we are talking about the Cuban one. Cohiba's on the list almost every year. I guess it almost has to be. Um, I would be really shocked if it wasn't. Not saying it's not a good cigar. It is one of the best cigars, but honestly, at this point, it does feel a little bit political. I'm not gonna have too much to say about this cigar, but if you guys want, you can check out my video on Cohiba where I discuss the whole brand as a, a really in-depth discussion. So go over there, go check that out. Let's move on. The next cigar we're gonna discuss is actually made by a company called Warped. And I'm actually really happy to see them on this list this year because they do make a great cigar. Of course, talking about the Warped Series Grand Reserva 1988, specifically the Robusto. A lot of Robustos on this list. Uh, we got the number four is a Robusto, number three is a Robusto. Quite interesting. Cal Gell is the owner of Warp Cigar, actually made this cigar uh, in commemoration of his birthday, which was actually 1988. Interestingly enough, it only comes in one size, like I said, the Robusto, which is uh, five and a quarter by 50, and also, obviously, it's made in Nicaragua. Uh, I personally haven't tried it, so I don't know what to tell you, but apparently it's delicious. And at number two, absolutely to nobody's surprise, we have the Padron 1926 Maduro number six. Now, Padron is always on the list as well, uh, as they should be. Padron makes some awesome, awesome cigars. Do I think that this cigar is that amazing? Absolutely not, but I do understand why it's on the list. I know a lot of guys that like it. We're obviously talking about something that's made in Nicaragua. That's where all Padron stuff is made. And as far as size goes, it's 50 by 4 and 3 fourth inches. Um, basically, when we're talking about Padron, very simply put, if you have not tried it yet, go ahead and try it. There's nothing I can tell you that could be as good of a test as actually tasting the cigar and knowing exactly what you're talking about. Do I think this belongs in the number two spot? Absolutely. Everything Padron makes is absolutely amazing. Do I like the 1964 better than the 1926? Absolutely. But, you know, I don't always get what I want, right? Now, here we go. This is the one that really everybody's kind of shooken up about, and that is the number one cigar of the year. So we're actually talking about the Aging Room Quattro Nicaragua, which I do have right over here. Not the specific specific size, the one, the Maestro is the one that one with the torpedo, but it's the exact same blend. So absolutely nobody understands why the cigar is on the list. I did have one earlier and it was okay. Uh, it wasn't that amazing. Um, a lot of people on the internet are saying that this was really just a paycheck. Uh, you know what I mean? Like there's, like there's no way, there's no way on God's green flat earth that this cigar is better than a Padron 1926 or a Cohiba Robusto. I will be doing a review of this like almost right after I'm done editing this video and posting it up, but what the f I don't really understand what's happening. So this is made, uh, cigar is made by a company named Aging Room, which is part of the Altidus brand, which is actually a company I used to work for, so probably I shouldn't talk that much shit, but Artie doesn't really give a shit, so I'm just gonna tell it exactly how it is. It's Nicaraguan, it's six by 52, it's a torpedo. Let's see, maybe like the last batch was shit and this batch is better. You know what, guys? I'm gonna finish up with this video. Uh, I'm gonna review this shit and then we'll actually see if this truly is the number one. And I know, Artie, you have to try the Maestro. You have to try the actual size that they actually put on the top 25. Just because you're gonna be smoking a similar size does not mean that it will have the similar flip. Fuck off. Alright guys, tomorrow we'll be doing, well maybe not tomorrow, I might skip a day to do another video, but uh, in the next video we will be discussing 11 through a 25. I love cigars, blah blah blah.